is Dr. Manisha Mittal. Dr. Mittal is a board certified internist and rheumatologist, and she is the founder of the Moksha Holistic Center and practices integrative medicine with her husband, I actually don't know if I've met him. What's your husband's name? Vivek. Vivek Mittal. <laughs> and so you guys are uh, a holistic center and you've been on a whole bunch before and you've got some great ways that we can heal the body holistically. And today I'm excited to talk about this because I, I forget to do this sometimes. We're talking about breathing, right? Yes, today we're going to talk about breathing. And Emily, you might have noticed like when we are very emotional or very angry or upset, you know, we breathe fast yeah. and shallow <sighs> that way. So we're breathing really fast. So, you know, our, our emotions and thoughts, they affect our breathing and vice versa. But we're going to talk about pranayama or science of breathing. You know, that can really help us balance our emotions and well-being. So we're going to use the breath as a tool to balance our emotions and well-being. Okay. I don't think um, on this show I've ever been more aware of my breath and now <laughs> I'm, I'm doing, I forget to breathe sometimes, especially when I'm uh, really excited or I'm really like amped up, I forget to breathe and then by the end of the segment I'm like winded. Okay, so tell me again what we're talking about. What's the, the name of it? It's called pranayama. Pranayama. Prana is the vital force and ama means stretching the breath cycle. Okay. So from the time we're born, you know, that first cry and the breath to the time we die, you know, it's all about breath. And yet we're not so much aware. Yeah. We, you know, we breathe with confusion, emotion, uh -huh. stress. We forget. So we're going to have children from Clovis Unified School District who are here with us and Cardin School of Fresno. They're going to show us some breathing techniques with me. And um, just before we start, I wanted to talk about, there's something that UCSF, the University of California, San Francisco, they talk about email apnea. Okay. You might have heard sleep apnea, that when you sleep, you know, some people snore. Uh -huh. So then that's my you, dad, he yeah. has a sleep apnea machine. Okay. Yes, thank you, yeah, that's exactly what it is. So you decrease oxygenation to all the vital tissues. Uh -huh. But now scientists are talking about email apnea. You go to your desk, you open the computer and you're crouched up and then, you have 20 emails and then you're, you're, you're not even breathing. So uh, it's so vital to breathe, yeah. breathe with awareness. I and probably go through my whole day and do that. All right, so let's get into the exercises and we'll have these little kiddos do the exercises for us. Uh, what do we start with? Okay, so the first thing, like you know, you all know, it's like blowing the candles. So just think it's your birthday. We're gonna take a deep breath through the nostrils. I'm gonna do inhale to the count of four. So what we do is you just inhale one, two, three, four. Make sure you're seated, you know, in your spine erect and comfortable. And then now exhale out and just blow the candles. <sighs> Let's do it again. <sighs> oh, that feels good. Well, perfect. Now let's come back to our relaxed posture with our arms and the palms f facing upward. And now we're gonna do a little exercise where we're gonna move our shoulders too. So what you do is with inhalation, you move your arms outwards. You expand that chest cavity and you expand, your belly goes forward a little. When you exhale, you come back and you push out and tuck that belly button in closer to the spine. So let's try it. Inhale. Yes, expand and then exhale through the nostril again. Push the belly button inward again. I feel more relaxed already. Wonderful, let's come back to the relaxed posture again. Now we're gonna do alternate nostril breathing. So you know, Emily, the right side of the brain is more creative. It's more artistic. That's my brain. <laughs> and I left... have no left side brain. <laughs> The left side is more logical and analytical. So we want to balance both sides. And every 90 minutes or so, your breath cycle changes. That means if you breathe through the left nostril, you stimulate the right brain. And if you breathe through the right nostril, you stimulate the left brain. But hold on, we're breathing in chaos. We're not paying attention. So this exercise is great to balance your logical and your creative side. So let's do it together. So what you do is use the right hand and you close the right nostril and now take a deep breath through the left nostril. So inhale, 
Use the pinky and the ring finger to close the left nostril and oh. exhale out of the right one. Hold it there, now inhale again from the same right nostril, keep the fingers. And again, close the right nostril and exhale here through the left. So let's try it again in sets of three. Start. Oh, exhale. It has such an interesting sensation. Okay, I feel more relaxed already. Dr. Mittal, thank you so much for being here today. We yeah. have all the information about the Moksha Holistic Center. Thank you for all my, my breathing kiddos here. We have their website right up there. Dr. Mittal, you always teach us something new. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for coming in. Everybody stay right there because when we come back from break, we talk to the Central Valley, Valley California Blood Center, learn how you can donate and save a life. That's next.